Good YouTubers. I'm hoping this is working a bit better than all my other videos have. Because all my videos so far have been quite poor. We've had similar problems. Um, first two videos only took pictures. So I was like, I can't hold the power button down too long to go pro to. So it would only take pictures. Um, I did another video the other day without um, a cover on the mic and my helmet and you couldn't hear anything. Did another video yesterday with a cover on my mic and you still couldn't hear anything so I assumed it was a problem with a camera microphone. And so this is my fifth attempt. And this one I did is so taped some cotton ball to the top of the microphone of the camera. Maybe that's a problem and I've also changed the camp near helmet because I decided to ride a bit of a posh top which I really ain't. So a couple of shout outs as it's my first video to people who helped me get started and inspired me. First one must and I mean must go to Russ at Raycraft Nottingham because basically he is an inspiration instructor. Not only that though but he has got the idea of constructive skin to a T. Now, a lot of these big companies think they know what they're talking about. They haven't got a clue compared to Ross, because the last thing with Ross is he only really cares. You don't get the sense that you're just a number to him, which you do with some other uh, companies. So, yeah, um, I initially ordered my camera from him, but he had a problem with his supplies, which is fair enough. So I had to get it off eBay. But yeah, it seems to be working okay-ish. I'm complaining about the quality of it. Another shout out will go to that man from Yorkshire. Who is quite funny to be fair. He always makes me laugh, I don't know why you've been on bad days. And I'm going to do a video response for him to one video about first looks because he <laughs> brought back some nice memories. I'll be honest with you, I'm not too worried about subscribing, but etc. I'm just doing this for me. The main reason why I got the camera was so I could review my own riding. And if I have any near misses, because I still sometimes do, I can look at where I went wrong because in 90% of the road accidents, both drivers have got some form of pain. Sam, Sam is a Kawasaki ZR7. It wasn't the first choice of a bike. It was just a local bike going at the right price. I knew the owner. I knew he looked after her. And then I got a 750 Kawasaki. It was the first big boy. For a grand. Pretty good country to show it. So I can't really mind on that one. a screen tour for when I'm making progressive runs, as I call them, and also the heat grips which I just have to be going to map. So yeah, uh, next point of the is going to be an old man playing your own like Russ's, but still having another cars on the street bikes is the other who's coming to the RT. And what I don't want is to get the RT coming in as the first heavy bike in the world. Youtube is going to be one of these razor fast things, but I'm just going to have 